Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Thursday. Pretty nice out here right now. 74 degrees. Expecting a high of 85 today. 90% chance of rain today. So I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing some more rain. We've been getting rain pretty much every day now. According to the sign up by the entrance at the ranger station, the water temperature has dropped down to 80 degrees. It was up to 83 a week ago. Here's one of our rangers, Terry. Doing his morning beach patrol. I don't know if we had any more sea turtle crawls in the past few days. I'm sure we have. This weekend's not looking very good weather-wise. Might be a tropical system developing out in the Gulf over this holiday weekend. We don't need that. Hopefully that storm won't push any red tide in to shore here. We've had enough dealings with that red tide. Beautiful out here right now though, some high clouds. It's gonna be partly cloudy most of the morning and rain developing later on. Those beautiful sea oats. Gorgeous. All starting to pop now. They're so beautiful, just swaying in the breeze there. Now the barge is still offshore here, so they're still dredging up in Wiggins Pass. I'm pumping the sand out just offshore here. That's what that barge is for. That's where the sand comes out. Let's take a walk down the beach and see what we find. See Roy's chair. Oh, Roy's down there on the beach already sitting in his chair. We'll catch up with him. A lot of shells here on the beach, a lot. Maybe we'll get lucky and find something to add to my collection here. Wow, lots of shells down there this morning. There's a little piece of a little baby lightning whelk right there. Of course, our worm tips. Lots of worm tips on the beach here. There's another nice one over here. I'm gonna keep that one. It's a nice little worm shell. That's a great one there. Water looks pretty nice this morning. Can't wait to check in with Roy. It's been a few days since we chatted with Roy. See what he's up to. Such beautiful little shells along the beach here. Everywhere you look. Turkey wing shell over here. One of our turkey wings. Another nice little worm shell over here, hiding out.
One of our little scallops. Little scallop shell. Now let's walk down the beach. Let's walk south for a little ways. I'll turn around, head back up, head north up towards Wiggins Pass. Boy, our friends Scott and Linda, they were cleaning up on the shells this week. I don't know if you've seen their posts. Scott and Linda Magyar, boy, they got a, found a lot of nice shells here at the beach over the past several days. We cleaned up on the shark eye, the moon shells. There's two little snowy egrets. One over here looking for breakfast. Another one walking around me here on the beach. There's little yellow feet. Looking for bugs in the sand. I think he's eating flies. <laughs> I see the ranger stopped way down south looks like oh maybe down in area two might be checking out a, some tracks from a sea turtle maybe we had a crawl last night down there another beautiful little scallop Lots of neat little shells down here. Oh, little tiny ones this morning. It's a big kitten's paw. Look at the size of that one. Wow. That's a nice one. Big one. Not much color. There's one that's got some nice colors. Nice little kitten's paw. Get the sand off it. A lot of cat lovers collect these. The kitten paw. Well, come on, where's a nice lightning whelk? Something off right along the shoreline here. This is a great place to look for shells too, just very hard to see them with the little waves. We got get caught up. Some nice stuff gets caught up in this little ridge line along here. Might check that out on the way back up the beach. Beautiful morning though. As we look around, looking out to the east, panning around, looking up to the north. Gorgeous out here. Absolutely beautiful. That gulf is pretty calm out here, pretty flat. To be, uh, I just saw a dolphin come up. Straight out, straight out here, there's two dolphins way offshore. They're just to the left of that post. I don't know if you can see him coming up over here. Look to the left of that post. There was two dolphins came up. See him out there? Wow. They are really far out there. But you can see him if you look close. Looks like they're making their way north up the beach. See if they come up again. I don't know where they went. They're taking their time coming up. There they are.
Yeah, they're pretty far out. Or at least we saw there, that's for sure. Got one good look. You can see it really far out there. Maybe they'll come in closer a little bit later. I think they're keeping their distance from that barge that's pumping the sand. Another nice little worm shell, a wormy tip. Definitely extremely common, these worm shells, the, especially the tips, you find them everywhere. The other common, very common shell here, the slipper shells. I always like showing that to people. Real smooth on the one side. This one's got a little hole in the end, the slipper shell, but you flip it over, you see how it looks like a little slipper. That's why they're called slipper shells. Now that's not, I don't think that's the technical term for the shell, but that's the common name for it. piece of an old sand dollar here just a tiny section of a sand dollar Ooh, here's a nice kitten's paw here I'm gonna keep this one look at that one that's a nice one that's a nice kitten's paw nice colors Yep, I think we have a, turtle, a sea turtle crawl down to the, at the south end of the park there. Our ranger's spending a lot of time down there. Ooh, there's a big slipper shell. Ooh, I found something else, a beauty. Here, look at the size of that slipper shell. Look at the size of that. Man, that's a nice one. Flip it over. See how it looks like a slipper? That is a big slipper. I'm gonna rinse that off. I'm gonna keep that one. Get the sand out of it. That's a great size slipper. Look what I found over here. An angel wing. Almost a perfect angel wing. Got a little chip on the side, look at that. Beautiful, an angel wing shell. Isn't that gorgeous? I can't put that in my pocket. That is very, very fragile. I'm gonna hang on to that. That is a nice angel wing right there. Put that out in the sun, it'll turn nice bright white. Great find. Just never know what you're gonna find out here. Every morning it's something different. Just gotta take your time. Unfortunately, I don't have an, an unlimited amount of time to spend out here. I'd love to. Some little sandpipers walking in front of me there. I'm gonna turn around and start heading north here in a little bit. Right now, walking south, I'm in Area 4, just the very south end of Area 4 at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. jewel box shell down here. Boy, this one's pretty worn. The jewel box, part of a jewel box shell. 
Another very common shell. I see a lot of people walking up towards me here doing looking for shells so this is probably a good time to turn around start heading the other way here's a nice little cockle shell another common shell here on our beach the cockle shell I feel like if I stop and turn around, I'm gonna miss something, but you just never know. It's a nice little fighting conch, Florida fighting conch shell. Hmm. There's a piece of an old scallop. That's a pretty worn scallop shell there. Another cockle shell down here. The cockles. There's a neat little scallop right there. That's a nice looking little scallop shell. Well, I think I'm gonna turn around, start marching up the beach, making my way north. I'll walk along, right along the edge of the shore here. Maybe we'll find something out in the water. A lot of little fish uh, schooling right here in front of me. Water looks pretty nice out here this morning. You can see all these ripples out here in the water. So there's a bigger fish chasing the little fish out here. See these ripples? Dolphins, I think I see a dolphin coming in here. Maybe. Let's move up the beach. A little. Yep, just offshore here. Maybe he'll come in closer. See if we see him out there. There, there's two of them out there. Swimming towards that big white buoy. A lot of fish close to shore here. Maybe it'll draw them in. Where'd they go? Where did the dolphin go? Dolphin spot those fish. Maybe we'll have to... They were right, huh? It's a dolphin spot those fish. Maybe we'll get Yeah, I, I'm hoping. They're right out there by that buoy, the dolphins. And the tarp, there looks like tarpon. Oh, there's the dolphin. We'll chase him up on the beach. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice size fish. Right. Uh, the dolphin's right out here. You might get lucky. You might. There he is. You got to cross over the sandbar. I, I filmed one one morning for almost a half hour right here at the shore, just chasing snook up and down the beach. Nope. Looks like he's, he's heading south. Yeah, darn it. But look at look at all those. Look at them are all. Those are rays. rays. Those are rays out there. Yep. Yeah. There's a school of rays out here. I'm gonna come out to the wide mode. There's a school of stingrays right out here. 
can see the tips of their wings coming up every once in a while. All out in here. And the dolphins are down to the south of us here. The rays are all out here. There's a whole school of stingrays out here. The dolphins are down to the south now. I was hoping to get in by the rays. I'm hoping the dolphins might turn around and come back. They've just been hanging out in this area this morning. He's getting a little, he's coming down this way. He's out here. Yes, I think that was him. Yep, here he comes. He's coming in. Right up here. There's one of them. See him out there? A lot of times they'll come right up to the shore. They're just, just offshore, the two of them out there. It won't come in close this morning. I don't know if you can see them or not. They're kind of far out there. There's definitely two dolphins out there. Heading, heading south right now. See them surface? Did you see that? Darn it. They're playing hide and seek with me here this morning. They're being stubborn. Where'd they go? Yep, there's they're way out there. Oh well, can't win them all, but at least we got to see a couple dolphins this morning. It's always a good sign. I always say if we spot some dolphins in the morning, we're gonna have good luck. That's our good luck charm in the morning. Let's mosey up the beach. Darn it. Watching those dolphins now, a couple people, a couple shellers got ahead of me. Let's see if I can pass them up here. Pretty sure there's gonna be some nice shells on the beach. I think I see Scott and Linda up here. Water looks beautiful out here this morning. Nice and clear. Look at that. See that little ridge line? That's, that little ridge is where a lot of neat things get caught. Sharks to eat. Great shells. See that little ridge along there? There's a big school of stingrays swimming just offshore. I thought it was fish at first. That was tarpon. That was rays. You could see the tips of their wings coming up out of the water. That was very cool. Wasn't that neat? Yes, I've never seen that. Here. There's, 
Oh, there's certain times of the year where the stingrays are just in schools swimming right along the shore. When is that? Uh, probably another couple months when the water gets a little warmer. Okay, so in August? Yeah. Are you on Facebook by any chance? Yeah. If you go to my Facebook page, Southwest Florida Television, you can, uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm live and I just walk the beach and you can see what's happening out here. <laughs> I don't do it every day, but Southwest Florida Television. Okay, I'm gonna write it down. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Thank you so uh -huh. much. Usually when the rays are out here, it's a pretty big thing. Uh huh. There we go, we get another follower. Oh, here's a fighting conch shell down here. Anybody home? Yeah, look at that. Somebody home in this one, finally. We've been seeing a lot of empty ones. This one has a fighting conch inside. You can see his foot. See that little, wish the sun would come out. That's his foot there. Definitely alive in there. I'll we'll probably try to pull that foot in. That's pretty sharp, that foot right there. That can really poke you. You don't wanna put these guys in your pocket and you don't wanna take anything home that's got a living animal in it anyway. Keep that in mind. There's a live Florida fighting conch shell right here. Fighting conch. Live Florida fighting conch. I'm going to set him back down in the water. Just right on the water's edge. Just past the little ridge. Just set these guys in the water. Don't throw them out. Something rolling around down here. I don't know where it went. Huh, lost it. Gorgeous morning out here. Well, so far, my shell find a little snowy eager right here in front of me. Just walking just a little bit ahead of me here up the beach. I don't want to scare him. I want to give him his space. A little snowy egret. There's a nice gray, big gray scallop shell here. That's a nice one. Nice scallop. I was just getting ready to show you. Oops. He's got his eye on something out there. And he's just under, just below me here in front of me. I almost reach out and touch him. The little snowy egret. Beautiful birds. I was going to show you this angel wing shell I found. Nice angel wing. It's got a little chip in it. It's still a beautiful shell, the angel wing. So far, that's the nicest shell I've found this morning. Hey, bud. Let's see its little yellow feet. They're not so little. they got long toes. Hey, they're not going to hurt you. I'll give you your space. Everybody wants to see you. There you go. The star. The little snowy egret. 
so you can get a look at those little feet an up close look it's little yellow looks like it's wearing little yellow rain boots <laughs> the little snowy egret they got that little yellow band by their eyes beautiful birds absolutely gorgeous the little snowy egret when you're out at the beach give all the wildlife its space don't let your kids chase the birds please don't feed any of the wildlife here at the park you can see its little plume see it sticking up there respect all wildlife respect all living creatures including humans Primping here. Primping for the camera. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Isn't that cool? These little feet again. These little yellow feet. Wish the sun would come out. It's a great look at a little snowy egret. Very timid. Now let's move on. See you later, alligator. There's that barge. It's not pumping any sand out yet. It will be soon. They're dredging Wiggins Pass and pumping the sand out down here. There's another nice little worm shell down here. Nice little worm shell. There's our friend. There's old Roy. Hey, Roy. Hey, Rob. How are you doing, Ben? I've been good. How about you? I've been you? Seen you for a couple of days. Yep. Uh, busy, I hear you busy. Had to get up at four in the morning to take somebody to the airport. Yeah, an early one. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get up at earlier than that. They had to be at the airport at four. Oh, they had to be there at four. Yeah. <laughs> that got you out of the sack. Yep, it did. <laughs> How's everything going good. for you? Good. Anything exciting? Oh, everything's exciting. There you go. Life's exciting. Isn't it, though? Every day is exciting. The sun rises, and oh, it's glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Getting to see that sunrise is oh, a good thing, isn't pink it? Today. Wasn't it beautiful, the Woo! clouds this morning? Best pink we've seen in all a over, age. All around. Yeah. I'm going to go take finish my walk. You going to be here? Yeah, the, the goofy pipe is up on the beach at the end. Oh, jeez. The whole steel pipe, you can see it there. Yeah, maybe I'll a, make it up there. You can get a good look at there it. You I go. always wondered how they pieced it together. They got those big steel clamps on it bolted oh, yeah. together. All right, maybe, we'll get, maybe I'll make it up there. I'll yeah. be back, all right? The, the pipe is interesting. Take a look. All right, I'll big, come back. We'll chat. Big steel pipe. All Have right. Have a good day. You too. Tally-ho. Tally-ho. We'll come back and chat with Roy in a little while. I just want to head up the beach a little further. In hopes of finding another shell or two to add to my collection. Lots of debris here, right here along the beach. Looks like just bits and pieces of old tree branches and leaves. Huh. Nothing's going to hurt you. It's all organic stuff. It's kind of messy looking. I'm sure it's all because of that dredging they're doing. shell
You'd be surprised what you find in these piles. Oh, I know, that's why I'm You just, I'm you just, down here yeah, you gotta spend the time looking. You do, because there's usually some little treasures in Exactly. Here little babies. Yeah, <laughs> I love the little ones. They're my favorites. They're the ones everybody walks past. I know it, and they step on them, and I'm like, no, no, don't I know. Step on. I get so mad when I see a beautiful shell, then I see the, tr the tire marks, you know, that ran over it from the Rangers and I crushed it. it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you are quite welcome. Let's get up a little further here. Roy said we can see, get a good look at that the pipe that they're using to pump the sand, pipe the sand from Wiggins Pass all the way down to Area 4, down where he sits on the beach. Hopefully our connection will hold. If our connection drops out, if you lose me, just stay tuned. I'll be back. I just have to get to a different spot on the beach. The signal just comes and goes here. There is no Wi-Fi. I'm just at the Mercy of my cellular provider here, Sprint PCS. Hmm. Surprised we haven't seen any moon shells yet. piece of driftwood up here on the beach. Wow. There's really not a whole lot of shells up here at the north end this morning. I think the tide's still coming in here. A lot of nice coral this morning. A lot of nice pieces of finger coral on the beach. There's a nice piece of finger coral right there. Lots of stuff here in the water too, right along the shoreline. rock or a fossilized shell down there. It's a rock. It might have got some fossils in it. A lot of cool rocks out here. A lot of neat fossils out in the water. One of these days, I'm going to find a darn shark's tooth down here. Darn it. Thought I just saw a little one. And the waves got it. Darn it. That's so frustrating. I swear there was a little tiny shark's tooth there and the wave just pulled it out. As I was going to go grab it. Darn it. Well, this beach is really changing here. Look at how much beach is eroded here. Clouds are starting to roll in now. Really starting to get hazy and overcast. Let's see 
See all those clouds. It's gonna be raining later. Looks like we're gonna have a soggy holiday weekend too. Unfortunately. Let's just hope that system doesn't develop into a tropical storm that's making its way into the Gulf of Mexico. I miss seeing our friends Scott and Linda out here this morning. I know they're excited about closing on their new place here. Just moved down from Michigan. There's a neat piece of coral if I can find it. Nice little piece of finger coral. Look at that. It's a great little piece of coral. Finger coral. Oh, here's what's left of a really old banded tulip shell right there. Just a piece of a very old banded tulip. Not much left to that thing. The banded tulip. We saw some dolphins, that's great. Found a nice little angel wing shell so far this morning. Hoping to find a little something else. Maybe a little whelk or a murex. There's another piece of a tulip. I'd love to find a nice banded tulip. That's just the bottom of a banded tulip shell. Isn't that cool looking? I call that the stem. People call these twisties. There's the sun peeked out again, nice. Making a little appearance. We're up in area five at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park, if you're just joining, which is in North Naples, Florida. walking north along the beach, seeing what we can come across. Look at this size. This was just a piece of what was a huge cockle shell. Look at that. That was a part of a huge cockle shell. We saw a couple small cockles earlier this morning. Look at the size of that. That thing would have been gigantic. Another piece of a cockle over here. I haven't seen any tracks from any sea turtles. I think there was one crawl down at the south end of the park. I don't know how many nests we're up to. How many sea turtle nests there are on the beach right now. I think we were up to eight last week, earlier this week.
quiet morning here as far as shelling goes. Nothing really out of the ordinary yet. Very peaceful though. There's a really old worm shell down here. There's a little piece of a moon shell. There's the eye from the shark eye or the moon shell, the broken one. That might be as close to finding a moon shell as we get today. And right down here, a little worm tip. That's a nice one, a worm shell. That's a nice little specimen there. That'll definitely go in my pocket. The worm shell. Those are so cool looking. Hopefully it won't break in my pocket. Morning. In area five now, the north end of Del Norwegans Pass State Park. We started down in area four, down in the middle area four, then we walked a little bit south. Isn't that beautiful? Right now, the sun's peaked out from behind the clouds, but it's just coming in and out from behind the clouds, and it's going to be raining pretty much guaranteed later today. Look at those colors, though. Is that not gorgeous right now with the sun shining? Beautiful colors out here. Look at the color of that water. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful as we look around here. fighting conch shell down here on the beach. Several of them. Several fighting conchs, old worn fighting conchs. Fighting Conks. There's got to be a football team in the Keys named the Fighting Conks, huh? What do you think? Well, here's a piece of a big old whelk shell. Look at that. That was huge at one point. Really focus. Piece of an old lightning whelk. Look at that. Boy, that would have been a huge shell. That would have been a great find, huh? A lot of broken shells this morning. A lot of broken shells. We did see one live fighting conch this morning. That was kind of neat. And here's another empty one. Lots of empty fighting conch shells. Lots of old ones too on the beach. Really old and worn. any sea turtle tracks at this end of the park.
every time I see a conch, I wonder if there's something alive inside. Nope. Nothing inside this one either. Nice little piece of coral over here. Well, this is definitely, this is the north end of the park here. This is Wiggins Pass. The north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Beautiful state park, a mile of beach here. All natural, no homes or condos along the beach. They've been dredging this pass now. Oh, for probably a good three weeks. It got filled in, it got really screwed up by Hurricane Irma. They just started dredging it back out. It's really get, becoming a nightmare to navigate for the boaters. They actually started with the dredging barges started offshore out here. And they're making their way up the pass, up into the Coconut River this direction over here. But they're actually pumping the sand from way up the river all the way down to where Roy is in Area 4. And right now, we've got a couple of the big hoses on the beach. I'm going to show you those in a minute. They're pumping the sand. But here's a nice little cockle shell down here. And just over here to the right is another one, a little bigger. And then over here is a nice little fighting conch shell. Nice little baby Florida fighting conch, nothing in it. It's a little baby. It's a nice looking little shell there. Nice little scallop shell over here. Wow, I see a little, little teeny tiny baby whelk over here. Very easy to miss. Look at that. Great little baby whelk. Definitely a keeper there. Little baby lightning whelk. Surprised I saw it. Definitely a keeper. A little baby lightning whelk. You may have heard me talking to that lady earlier about you just got to take your time when you're selling. There's a lot of little ones out here. A lot of little jewels, little gems. Oh. Almost. Almost found a banded tulip. It's missing the top. It's got a little hole in it. Missing the tip. Beautiful colors though, the banded tulip shells. Absolutely gorgeous. Actually, I don't know if that's a banded tulip. That's a banded tulip. That's a piece of one to the right. That's a tulip. Very cool shell. I'll probably keep it. Another piece from a moon shell. Well, that was a good size one at one time. Look at that, there's the eye of the shark eye or the moon shell. Wow. So we lost our signal. It's getting a little weak. What happens up at this north end here? I'm just gonna keep moving north. Maybe it'll reestablish itself. Me, I've never found one, but there are people find them all the time out here, the I sharks. I don't know feet. what they look like, but that looks like a yeah, rock. Yeah, that's a rock, yeah, okay. but they're so deceiving. They said, somebody told me they were black. Yep, they're black, they're triangular black. Much thinner, though? Yeah. Okay. They're kind of like two-tone, the black and a gray. Oh, okay. But yeah, they, people find them out here all the time. Mm -hmm. I just never spot them. They're all, they're out, they're usually right along the edge of the water. Oh, okay. 
is the best place. Maybe coming at low tide. Is yep, the best exactly. Oh, that's the best. Gosh, another broken moon shell. Or is? Oh no! Hey, nice. I got. I found one. Check this one out. I'm gonna rinse the sand off it. It's a little worn around the edge, around the edge there, but look at that. Nice, neat colors on this moon shell. Very distinct eye on this one. The lighter colors with the stripes. Cool. I, I lucked out and found a moon shell this morning. And an angel wing. How cool is that? Just bear with me if that signal drops out here. Oh, here's something interesting. The crucifix. They call this a crucifix. This is actually the skeleton of an old sail cat, sail catfish. But look at that. They call that a crucifix. See it there? This is the backbone of the old, an old sail catfish. But can you see the crucifix there? Doesn't take much to see that. The crucifix, isn't that cool? That is so neat. Well, here's Part of that pipe that's sending the sand all the way down from Wiggins Pass down to Area 4 Beach. That just runs all the way down along the shore, just offshore. But that's the pipe that carries the sand from the dredge, which is up in the Coquihatchee River now, all the way down the beach. To where Roy sits, just offshore where Roy sits. Pretty amazing, isn't it? How they can pump it that far. Absolutely amazing. It's not pumping right now. Where's a little moon shell? Just rolling around. Another little moon shell. Just rolling around in the water there. That is a beautiful one, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous little moon shell or shark eye. Boy, that has got some interesting colors on it there. Here's one of the guys up here that's working on the dredging project. We get to talk to him. I'm just curious how long they're going to be and actually how long this pipe is, how far it runs, or how far they can pump the sand. It's pretty cool. Oh, he's heading back to his boat. That is pretty cool. See, the pipe is actually up out of the water, the tube. If you look up the river, you can see the barges way up river there. See the barges up river? That's where they're dredging. I'm way up the river there, way up there. The barge is right where that condo is. Kind of hard to see in the shadows. And then it comes, the sand that they pump up from the bottom comes down that tube. And here you can see it over here up on the beach. Can't, I'm looking right in the sun, I'm sorry. Can't 
see the screen at all. Let's see if I can find the barge again. There's the barge up in the river. See it up there? Just to the right of the center. You can see the pipe. It's pumping the sand. There's the tube again up on the beach. I guess they're at their maximum length, so now it's, they had to kind of take a shortcut to get down to area four and put it up on the beach here. That's the pipe that's sending the sand all the way down to that barge that we've seen just offshore by where Roy sits. That's quite a ways. I'll bet you that's nearly a mile, if not a mile. Pretty interesting how that works. So this is the north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. This is where you want to go if you want to do some fishing at the state park. No swimming up here, just fishing in area five. I'm gonna snap off a quick photo while I'm up here. Just to share this with our viewers here. So bear with me here for a minute. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, but I'm back. I'm going to head back down the beach now. Back towards Roy. We'll check in with our friend Roy. See how he's doing. See what he's been up to for the past couple of days. Keep my eye open for something that I might have missed as I was walking up here. You never know. The golf might have brought something new up onto the beach here. Every time you walk the beach, you always find something new. Lots of, lots of neat little things might be getting caught between this pipe and this little ridge here. That's why I just found that neat little moon shell. That was a cool one. Let's see if I can get it out of my pocket. We had lost our connection there earlier when I had found that moon shell. Had some interesting colors. I don't know if I can find it in my pocket. Rooting around in here for it, bear with me. I can find the big one, I can't find the smaller one. I don't wanna break my angel wing that I have in my hand. set the angel wing on the beach these are really fragile that's a great little angel wing that I found this morning I'll sit that here on the beach I try to find that little moon shell in my pocket that I found yeah. I found the little lightning whelk I found that little baby lightning whelk this morning isn't that cool that's a really little tiny whelk I'm surprised I saw that Just can't find. Get the one moon shell. I hope I put it in my pocket and didn't miss it and dropped it. And there it is. Here's the two moon shells that I found so far this morning. Two both kind of interesting colors. I call them shark eyes because of that eye. Moon shells, shark eye. Pretty cool, huh? Nice little finds this morning, but that angel wing, that's definitely the highlight of my beach walk this morning. Look at that thing. Beautiful angel wing. All right. Mosey on down the beach here. Make sure I have enough batteries left to chat with Roy. I ran out of batteries the last time. 
I was here to talk to Roy. I don't know what that, what caused that. I'm usually good for three hours here on the beach. Three hours of a live feed. I've never done a three hour live feed, by the way. A little over two hours is my max. Anything out here? A little olive shell, or a piece of an olive shell. There's an olive shell. It's missing its tip there. Beautiful little olive. These are cool for putting on a necklace when they have that hole in them. Hey, if you're new to the beach walks here, new to our little group, our little beach group, be sure to introduce yourself. Let everybody know where you're watching from. That's what this is for. This, these beach walks are about bringing people together on Facebook. If you're just tuning in. Let's see here. I thought I saw something. I saw another olive up. Oh, another olive missing its tip here. Nice little olive shell though. I always find them with other shells stuck inside them. Isn't that cool? What's that down there? Is that another olive shell with the tip on it, maybe? Ooh, that's a beauty right there. That's a really nice olive shell right there. That's a nice size one. That's going in my pocket. That's a keeper for sure. I just saw something else rolling around. Another nice little olive. Let's keep those two olives. We're gonna to put together, Scott and Linda and I, we're gonna put a little, maybe a little group of four or five shells together and maybe one surprise shell. You folks can order those online. So I'll let you know more about that. Gotta figure out what the shipping costs. That's the pain in the neck part. I was getting ready to say to those of you just joining us, you probably see this pipe here and you're wondering what that is. Well, that's the pipe that's pumping the sand from the dredge, which is all the way up into the Coquihatchee River, way up there now. And it's pipe pumping the sand all through this pipe you see here, all the way down to area four where Roy's at. Probably almost a mile. I'm going to snap off a photo of that pipe real quick. So bear with me. Bear with me for a minute. Don't go anywhere. I'm sorry about that. I'm back. I was gone for a while there. I apologize. There's a ton of little fish swimming around down here. You probably can't see them. See all those little dark spots down there? ton of little fish swimming around here. All little bait fish swimming around. Wow. I might get back over here. I was finding some neat shells along this little ridge here. Before I so rudely left you and took some pictures. Now it's hard to see them because the waves are breaking right here. All the little shells are piling up. Darn it. Rats. You gotta have really good eyes to catch something rolling up in these waves. But every once in a while I'll get lucky and find something. See all these little shells, they just wash up and then wash back down. Just saw a little worm tip rolling around there somewhere. And it's gone. 
as quick as I saw it there, it disappeared. Darn it. I did find a nice little worm shell this morning. See if I can get that out of my out of my pocket. There's a nice little worm shell. Those are cool the worm shells. It's a lot of fighting conks on the beach this morning. Scallops. You have to look really close at all these little shells. You never know what you're gonna come across here. Those murex shells are the ones that are hard to find. It's because of their texture. They're just about at high tide, as you can tell. And that nice little, I showed you that earlier, that little fighting conch shell, nice little fighting conch shell. along the water here, along the edge of the water line. Just getting really hard to see down here now with the waves. There's all kinds of shells washing in here. Probably gonna be some great shelling at low tide this afternoon. So just check the tide chart for Wiggins Pass. Google that, Wiggins Pass tide chart. Pretty easy to find. I think there's gonna be some great shelling. Looks like some good stuff out here in the water. But the downside is it's probably gonna be pouring this afternoon. I'm expecting some pretty heavy showers later today. And as we get closer to the weekend. It's supposed to be a wet, a soggy holiday weekend. Boy, shells all the way back up in here. Look at them all. Piece of finger coral up here. Nice little piece of finger coral. I'm gonna turn around, take a picture looking up the beach here. Give you a quick look up the north end, looking north, isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful colors right now with the sun up. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Stand by while I take a photo. It looks like we lost our Wi-Fi connection for a second there. Getting a little overcast right now. Beautiful though, as we look north up the beach, across to Barefoot Beach over there. Looking across Wiggins Pass there at Barefoot Beach, isn't that beautiful? All right. Let's continue walking back down the beach. I get sidetracked all the time. Can you blame me? Always finding something.
These are some of the trees that got knocked down by Hurricane Irma. Shame on her. This is gorgeous up there. It's still beautiful at the park, but these trees used to kind of hang over the water. It was like a canopy, a green canopy you could walk under and just kind of, maybe the water was a foot deep where the trees would hang over. Thanks to Irma, their history. There's one sea turtle crawl here. These are, this is some tracks from a loggerhead sea turtle here on the beach. These are the return tracks right here where she came back down. Well, this is where she crawled up out of the water. You can see she crawled up. This, this, these are the tracks from a loggerhead sea turtle, a female that was attempting to nest on the beach. You can see she came up. Actually climbed up the dune here. I don't know where she went. She went around. Hung a left. I don't know where she went. She came over here. Holy smokes. This is looks like the where she had attempted to dig a nest right here where the sand's all disturbed. So she went just up here a little ways. You can see she went up here, made a U-turn, came back. I don't know if the ranger checked that out yet or if, he's, if it was a false crawl. That's where she attempted to lay the eggs. And kind of crawled back through next to the trees and back out to the water. Is that a false crawl, Terry? Looks that way. Yeah. How are you doing? Good, good. That's amazing how they crawl up these dunes. You can see where she crawled up here. This is where she came up out of the water, up the dune, up to the beach here where the ranger is, attempting to make the nest. And back down to the water over here. So when you see these tracks, they kind of look like tractor tire tracks. Sam, there's a good look at the, the crawl tracks from the loggerhead sea turtle. These are the return tracks back to the water. You can tell how the sand's pushed to the back as she pushes herself along the sand back towards the water. Pretty cool. So the odds are that's a false crawl though. I was up in area five. Good morning. You can see off in the distance, that's where the sand those pipes lead to that we saw up in Wiggins Pass. They lead all the way down to this barge here, and that's where the sand is pumped out. It's not operating right now, it's not running, but we have seen that in operation in other beach walks. I've actually got a couple of photos of it pumping the sand out. You can see those on Facebook right here at Southwoods Florida Television. A little snowy egret. We got a really, really up close look at one of these little snowy egrets earlier this morning. So you're definitely going to watch, want to watch the replay of this. I'm going to try to get it on YouTube in a little better quality. And I'll post the link for that later. Every once in a while, Facebook screws up and I can't save the higher quality version of the video. But when I'm able to do that, I post it on YouTube and share the link. Excuse me. Pardon me, everybody. <laughs> Can't hide sneezing when you're live. 
I'm smoking a cigar back there. <laughs> I got a big whiff of it. I usually don't mind the smell of cigars. Just a quick reminder too, nobody pays me to be out here doing these beach walks. Southwest Florida Television, that's just the name of my Facebook page. It's not a big TV station or anything. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, if you enjoy these walks, every little bit helps. You can find my PayPal account information later in the description of this, this post, of this video. It's always appreciated, believe me, every little bit helps. We did see some dolphins early this morning when we just got started. Saw a couple dolphins offshore. Saw a school of stingrays as well. Or a school of rays. I don't know if they were stingrays. The school of rays. They're pretty far out in the water though. I tried to walk out to the water, but they kind of swam away from me. I think they might have been cow nose rays. Got some interesting things swim along the shore here. Take some time to check out all of my videos. Do some searching, search for dolphins, search for stingrays, search for sharks. We've seen some really cool things in our beach walks. Every beach walk is different. I wish I could come out here every morning, but I just don't have the Time to do that. Met lots of great people out here. Lots of great people on Facebook. A lot of people have actually come together and become friends through these beach walks and become personal friends. They've met and become friends and enjoy each other's company now. It's amazing. Just amazing how many people watch this. We have people from all around the world watching these beach walks now. That is so cool. It just blows my mind and Roy's mind. How many friends we have out there that we've never met personally. There's that barge again. Remember that, that's the end of that pipe that we saw all the way up by Wiggins Pass. That's where it ends. Amazing, isn't it? I'm guessing it's about a mile. Close to a mile. Three quarters, between three quarters of a mile and a mile that it's pumping that sand. What a difference between the summer and winter here, huh, in Naples? Our population probably dwindles down to a tenth of the amount of people that are here in the winter time. Pretty much get the place to ourselves. I love it. Give you a look back up the beach here. Look out into the Gulf. A 
what's left of the beach at high tide. <laughs> it's getting kind of sparse. Let me take a quick photo, bear with me while the sun's out. All right, I'm back. Almost, almost to our friend Roy here. A few more steps. I'm gonna check in with Roy. Darn weed eater running up here in the woods by one of our volunteers doing a little cleanup. Sitting there with Roy. Looks like maybe Karen. There's a little turkey wing shell buried in the sand. Those are so cool, the little turkey wings. Let's go say hi to Roy. <laughs> Good morning. How are you doing? How are you? Huh? I don't. Well, I'm Lenny Sea Stars. Say that again? Lenny Sea Stars. Sea Stars. I posted, I said hi, Rob. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you in person. That is awesome. Yeah. It's so neat to meet people face to face. I know. But watch this. <laughs> it always amazes Roy and I how many people just come up out of the blue and say hi. I know. Like, we're best of friends. Well, we love your channel. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, thank you. We started watching it about maybe a month ago. Uh -huh. we, were, we knew we were coming down. Oh, there you go. So we just started watching it. We're looking for your videos. So it's great. We had I to kinda, come down to meet. I, I think we started about three years ago. Oh, yeah. And we just kind of, I was doing it just to see what happened, if anybody would watch. And it was kind of, I was thinking of it as a way for people when they leave to keep in touch. Because so many people come down here yeah. for the winter time and then yeah. leave in the summer. So, yeah. And here's two more people that came down it. We, we come here often enough. We're probably here probably just about every May. Every May? Yeah, and sometimes in November. Nice. Yeah. For how long How long do you stay? Uh, we're here for two weeks. We're going home on Saturday. Oh, well. But usually a, a week at a time. We're not, we're still working. I don't think you're going to miss anything this weekend. Oh. It looks like it's going to be a yeah. wet, a wet a and rainy wet. weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be great. Hopefully that thing doesn't develop and anything yeah. major off the we had enough last year with Irma. I mean they're still cleaning up as you've oh, seen. You saw the blue tarps still yeah, on we were the roof. November and we saw the evidence. Yeah, it was yeah. terrible. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Well I'm gonna chat with Roy here. It's okay. awesome meeting you. Okay, you yep. Too. Nice Thanks. Stay in touch on Facebook. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we'll come back on our way back. Yeah, see you good later. to see you folks. Okay. Yeah, nice good chatting with you. Hi Karen, how are you doing? Hi, good morning. <laughs> Finally get to see you. I know. I just missed you a couple days ago. Yeah, yeah, I did. I saw you down the beach. Yep. She, you had a good she time. wanted to see you, and I said, he's up the beach, and he'll be back. I was checking the pipe out up there. Yeah, did you see the yeah, pipe? They got it pretty much all around the pass on the beach. It looks like steel. I, I didn't know what it was made out of. But I, it's like a, some kind of fiber. It's uh, it's, it's not well, steel. I, I tried to it's touch it. It's flexible. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's some sort of fiber stuff. Huh? Yeah. But they got big steel clamps on yep. it to join it together. That's quite the ordeal. That's quite a ways they're pumping that sand. Yeah. I wish they'd get done. Yep. <laughs> so, how how was your dinner the other night? You all went out to dinner no, there? And, no. no, no, not last night. Then you, the time before. We went to, uh, Sweet Tomatoes. When you went to Sweet Tomatoes. That yeah, Karen was one oh, of the... Oh, we had a blast at Sweet yep. Tomatoes. Karen yeah. and her husband, Tom, yeah. were in the photo yeah, there at Sweet time. Tomatoes. Tom says hi. Oh, okay. Hey, Tom. <laughs> is he Ubering now, too? Is he, no. is he still driving? Is he doing any Ubering? Uh, he, he's been working full time now. Oh, is he? Oh, okay. And, uh, he Sorry, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got, she said he just got registered down here. His 
business. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, great. What is the what business is he in? Urban horticultural consultants. Oh, a horticulturist. Okay, yeah. great. So, that's like that's our, our exciting. yeah. That's it's big business down here. Because that's what he was doing up north. Okay. So, Very good. That's a big. Uh, he designs all the all the yard, all the plants, yeah. Very even nice. interior plants. Yeah, that's a big business down here. Yeah. That'll keep him busy. You won't get to see him very much. <laughs> well, I'll be his, uh, his support. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I, so I've designed my wildflowers. Your wildflower garden. Yeah. Oh, they've come up like mad. You wouldn't believe it. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Lots of blooms now. Lots of flowers. Yeah, they're starting to bloom, and the variety is just unbelievable. And the leaves. One has got the most beautiful leaves I've ever seen. The patterns on the leaves. Wow. Pattern leaves. It's just really gorgeous. <laughs> So what you been doing? I don't know, when the last time I was here, Sunday or Monday? I forgot when I've been out here last. Oh, I've been just hanging in there. Hanging in there? Yeah, taking care of everything and enjoying the journey. Enjoying the journey as always. Yeah. <laughs> Fighting the flies. <laughs> trying, to, trying to get my book, girl, Sandy, I've been in touch with her to get it typed up so I can get that published and yep. out to everybody. Cause, people, are, uh, people are looking forward to seeing yeah, that. I want to get that sent out. So I will, everybody, when it's typed up and printed up yeah. it's going to take a little bit did you see any dolphins in the past couple of days no i haven't well i think one way out there was a dolphin yeah, i saw a couple this morning just down here yeah that's what i hear there they didn't get too close and then a big school of rays came by yeah that's what you said did you see them flying with the wings sticking well up out they of just water? they just the tips were just coming up out of yeah. the water yeah. Were they all white? One time I yeah. was swimming and some big white ones yeah. right, right I close think to were, me. I think they were cow nose rays. I don't think they were, they weren't sting rays. Cow think, nose, huh? Yeah, I think they were cow nose rays. <laughs> the cow nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. So what else is new? Everybody everybody wants to hear something, something inspiring. Every time well. I talk to you, you spoiled everybody. <laughs> Well, it isn't new, but it's glorious. Just it's, every day when the sun rises, it's a wonderful, glorious moment in life. Isn't that the truth? And it isn't. It's more in a moment. This morning we had that pink sky. Oh, Wasn't it was it glorious. It lasted all the way down the beach. So it went behind all the clouds, all around, half, all the clouds. Good half lit hour of pink while. sky. Yeah, it was beautiful. Glorious, glorious. And then the sun peeked up over the clouds, and it's always a wonderful, beautiful time. <laughs> it's always wonderful. Just I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what shells I find. Just getting being able to come out here is wonderful. Well, look how blue the sea is and Isn't the blue it? sky it and little waves washing in. The beautiful Just barge the offshore. Friendly, here. friendly people coming <laughs> by to chat. You got that right. Friendly like you, Rob. You got. And Karen. You got and beautiful Jean, ladies been, coming over she, here. You getting oh, hugs all the time. <laughs> Getting your free hugs. Karen and I have been having some big chat, solve, yeah. solving all the world problems. That, what did you solve today? <coughs> what problem did you solve? I'm going to put you on the spot. <laughs> I don't know. We don't have any problems. No, no problems today? No, they all been solved. No problems. Okay. Just not to sweat the small stuff, right? <laughs> Pretty much. You need to do your rain dance and make that storm go away that's heading towards us. <laughs> I'll tell you. We don't need any more of that stuff. Yes. Well, you know, if it comes, it comes. It's, uh, that's a glorious it comes, time, it too. Comes. I don't go for things getting damaged or people injured, but other than that, storms are a, so a fabulous, is. exhilarating time. They are pretty and exciting. you get that that's wind sure. that blows. Oh, I love the wind, and that blows, and the rain drenches down. The waves are huge. I mean, that's a fabulous thing, too. It is fun coming out here. Yeah. That's for sure. I so. need to get a waterproof camera. <laughs> We'll go, go swimming during go for the storm. A swim in the rain. We'll go swimming during the hurricane. <laughs> I do. I have a. I do have a little waterproof camera, but when I put the case on it, you can't hear the sound. Really? So you can take pictures and video, but you can't hear the sound. I'll be darn. Oh well, that'd be fun though. Come out in the hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tie a rope to you. <laughs> well, I have to be careful when I go swimming though, because my watch is only good for. Uh, Water resistant 50 meters. Yeah, that's not too deep. So I have to be that? very cautious. Yeah, not even 200 feet. You gotta be careful. Don't go too deep, all right? 50 meters. Uh, that's that's amazing. You found that watch. 
Yeah, I'm a lucky guy. Well, you probably had that for a year now. Yeah, it's a Found stopwatch. It, yeah. it tells you everything. Thursday, 524. Here's the time in seconds, and I don't know what all. That was your lucky morning when I remember. Oh, when, no, I remember alarm. When you yeah, it's that. alarm. I forgot it, but you can even turn on the alarm and it kind of. What on earth do you need an alarm for? It's got it's got a little light if it's dark out here. And... Do you have a schedule? Are you on a schedule? <laughs> You're not on a schedule. <laughs> well, I don't know about schedules, but I, I get up before sunrise. That's part of my schedule to get down well, here. Well, there you go. That's the schedule. Do you go to bed before sunset? I get to bed pretty early, yeah. Yeah. I usually get up before 5. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. I'm here for sunrise. I get up early. I just have to take somebody to work. I wish I could come out here for sunrise. Where'd you get up about 2 in the morning for that little trick? Oh, the other day? No. Uh -oh. Three. Three. Yeah. That's early enough. Picked him up at 3.30. No biggie. No traffic. I was up to the airport and back in 40 minutes. Really? My yeah. gosh. <laughs> no traffic. Drove like a bat out of hell. <laughs> yeah. But I kept it at the speed limit. <laughs> I'm sure you did. I didn't leave the ground. All four wheels were on the ground the whole time. Boy, would you park there? You got to take a little little bus to get from the parking lot to the airport. Oh yeah, if you take your car and want to drive yourself, yeah. Man. When I drive people, I just drop them right at the curb. Yeah, I go right up yeah. there. Pick them up at the curb, drop them at the curb. Unless I don't like them, then I just pretend I don't see them and drive on. <laughs> Push them out. Yep. <laughs> Morning. Uh, I only had to kick one person out of my car. Oh, you did? Yeah. What, were they drunk and disorderly? Well, she was something. I don't know. She didn't know where she was going. She put the wrong address in, and she couldn't tell me where she was going. So I dropped her off at the hospital. I told her she has to get out, because I got somebody else I got to give a ride to. Was she confused or something? Didn't she? Yeah. That's too bad. She was looking for some holistic healing place. I said, well, here's the hospital. That's oh, the best I can do. Holistic healing, yeah. huh? So, huh. Huh. it's kind of sad, but yeah, I knew she was bad. in good hands. Oh, that's good. I've had crazy people several times. So I've really? had my share of crazies. Oh. What are they just kind of shouting and yelling? Oh, no. Or? This one guy was telling me he's... I picked him up at McDonald's up here on the corner. Yeah. Some guy says, here, take him to the bus station in Fort Myers. I'm like, oh, this is going to be interesting. So I don't get 10 blocks up the road. The guy says, can I be honest with you? I'm like, oh, geez. I'm like, sure. He's like, I'm being run out of town by the Illuminati. What, are, like, the, what are the Illuminati? The Illuminati. No, oh, I don't know. They're just some like... I think they were part of the old Knights Templar, you know, the old guy. The, but it's a very exclusive, it's like a cult, the Illuminati. Oh, really? But apparently they meet, they were having secret meetings, the Illuminati meet. They have a meeting hall under the stage at the Naples Philharmonic, which is Artiste Naples now. And they make human sacrifices during the concerts. What? This guy was serious, dead serious. And he said he's, he's a sorcerer. And uh, a wizard, <laughs> and, and make... he, he was thousands of years old, and they're running him out of town. Well, I can see why. <laughs> so I was like debating on whether or not to boot him out of the car or not. But did he did he have enough to pay his bill? Yeah, that's the one thing. I guess paid right up front. Or you get the money first. Yeah. Well, then you don't have to but, worry. But um, it was an interesting conversation to say say the least. So I just kept prodding him on. <laughs> human sacrifices oh, yeah. under the stage? He knows this. He has the secret to eternal life. Oh, well. But he, he wouldn't share it with me. Oh, I, I was well, going to say, what is the secret? Me, please. <laughs> then it will be a secret. <laughs> yeah. The guy it's was eternal a Eternal life. I think. And the, I don't know if the lady that ran the Philharmonic, her name used to be, that actually built that, her name was... Morning. Good morning. Her name was Myra Daniels, and he told me that Myra Daniels was 10,000 years old. Goodness. And she's a sorceress. She's the head of this whole, this whole group. My goodness, ten thousand years. Yeah. yeah so she's a ten thousand. She's a little older, older than, you. than you are. She's a little older than you. A couple years older. 
<laughs> Even older than you are, Rob. Boy, oh boy, I didn't think I'd ever well, hear this of guy, he, he told some stories. I come back and I told everybody this story and they're like, did he have red hair? I'm like, yeah. Was his name Phil? I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. That guy's crazy. They knew Phil was oh, yeah. right here. Huh? A lot of my friends that work in businesses around town that are managers said, oh, yeah, he's not allowed in this place. <laughs> he had quite the reputation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's amazing. But I meet some nice people, too. I mean, I meet some really nice people. It's, I meet some rich people that want to take all their money with them when are they, they die. Are they big chippers? <laughs> No, not the rich people. <laughs> Most of them want to take their money with them. Is that right? It's the people that are hard, the people that work in the service businesses, the, the middle class, the harder working people are the ones that are more generous. How about that? It's like kind of crazy. The more they have, the less they share. And, they're, and the crappier maybe. attitudes a lot of them have. Yeah. They're very stuck up. Yeah, I don't think being wealthy necessarily makes you happy. No, I'm not saying all wealthy people are like no. that, but... I just seem to run into a lot of them like that, where they want you to know how much money they have. All ah, they can do is talk about that's everything no they good. have. Yep. I think if you I have... I like the down-to-earth people, like us. Yeah, right. You know? We don't have any money, you know, but we're happy. We're just making it, you know, day to day, and we get to come out to the beach and make the best of what God gives us for free. And we're full of joy <laughs> and happiness and exuberance. Exactly. And, and thankfulness. Thankfulness. That we're healthy and happy here. And wise. <laughs> Not wealthy. <laughs> and wise. Yep. Healthy, wealthy, and wise. Well, wealthy, wealthy in many ways. Money yeah. isn't. That's right. Yeah, you know, there's many other things that make you Friendship wealthy. Friendship. And... Yep. My goodness me. All our friends watching here on Facebook, we're wealthy. That's right. Friends. Boy, that is a, we that's have a an amazing thing, all those wonderful friends. I think I'm going to let you talk to some of them. They get a big kick out of that when I flip the phone around and you chat with them. Here you go. Just make sure they can... I hope I can see who it is before it make, disappears. Make sure they can they can see your face in there. Anna, Anita, I'd love to meet red-haired Phil. Oh, she wants to meet red-haired <laughs> Phil. Gail, we are the lucky people. Money isn't everything. You got it, Gail. You got that right. Ha, ha, ha. Well, there's only two this morning, Rob. That's it. Oh, no, there's more on there. Oh, hi, Roy. This is Gail. Hi, Gail. Karen will be on. Yeah, that's wonderful. Oh, here we go. Cindy Jean, Stella. Hi, Roy. Hello. Oh, Stephanie. Hello, Roy. Love from Arkansas. Linda, good morning, Roy. I'll be down to meet you. Karen, oh, Blair is working. Oh, you got two hugs tomorrow. I really uh, do take another road a trip. Uh, snow goes back down here. Heavenly place. Uh, Seymour. Lynn. Hello, Roy from South Dakota. Hi, Lynn. Karen Mellor, you got two hearts. Hello. Hi, Karen. Janet. Hi, Roy from Ohio. Golly me. Hi, Janet and Sandy. Roy, you are a sweetheart. <laughs> I don't know about that, but thanks, Sandy. Linda says, hi, Roy. Gail. Can't wait to meet you one of these days, says Gail McGillivray. Ah, well, hi, Gail. I'm sure looking forward to it. And Chris, Finally. right out, it's a happy life. You got it, Chris. Yeah, it sure is a happy life. Barbara, hi, Roy from Kansas. Hiya, Barbara. Jennifer Ann, how you doing, Roy? Hiya, Jenny. Ah, ah. Look forward to seeing you one of these days again. Ah, 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 ah. Well, this is wonderful. Well, by George, life is great. <laughs> well, that's that's it for the. Oh, here's a new one from Vereskivi. Hi, Ivan Vereskivi says hi. Hi, Ivan. Well, great talking to you. And Barbara Thompson says hello, Roy from Deer River, Minnesota. Miss you. Well, I miss you too, dear. Linda. You're great, Roy. I don't know if I'm great, but thanks, Linda. Karen Fern says, Oh, I'm a handsome man. I didn't think so, but thanks. That's awful good of you. Must be this camera shapes me up. <laughs> Barbara, how, Roy, how far is the park from Naples? Well, it's not too far from Naples. I only got to drive about five minutes. Want to hear your 
Play, uh, she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes on your harmonica. Ha, ha. Well, I have to break that out. Gail says, we all love you, Roy. Well, thanks, Gail. I love you, too. Jennifer Ann, hi, Roy. How are you doing? Doing great, Jenny. Catherine, Kathy says, Roy, oh, you are such a spe special guy. I love your walks on the beach. Ah, uh, well, that's great. All those hearts. Thank you, dear. Bless you. <laughs> Kathy, that's wonderful. Well, I'll be darned. Hey, Rob, here we go. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, got a lot of lot of good people. Uh, Ann says, hi, Roy, from Greensboro, North Carolina. Barbara Thompson, you are a grandpa I've never have met. They both gone before I was born. Oh, you are the, ha, ha. Look at that. Well, Barbara, how You're wonderful. a grandpa. That is so neat. I think I'm a great <laughs> yep. Did. Well, Roy, there you go. Just a handful of your friends there. <laughs> well, they're all beautiful, wonderful Aren't people. Aren't they? Yeah, they're really sweet. That is so neat that they you say the nicest things to me. Isn't that the truth? Yeah. And these people that have written for my book too, they they send little letters and they say the nicest things in the Three letters. Three little comments. They're really sweet. So I'm hoping to get that book mailed out to everybody here as soon as possible. Did you see all the hearts going around when yeah, you were talking yeah. there? Yeah, <laughs> hearts. Oh, boy. What a delight. Awesome. <laughs> well, I got to get rolling. It's probably, what time is it? Probably, it's getting late. Oh, 9.51. Yeah, almost 10 o'clock. Holy smokes. All right. Well, it's good seeing you. Great to always seeing you, Rob. Everybody bless you. enjoys hearing from bless you. Bless you for doing this Facebook oh, thing. You bless draw, you for being a part of it, Karen. So many people together with you your too. Facebook. Yep. It's a wonderful thing you're doing. I hope so. You get you two have a great morning. Okay. Take care. Tally yep. Tally ho. Bye bye. <laughs> Our good friend Roy, Roy and Karen, Karen Blair. Roy's 93 years old. It's gonna be 94 in December, December 20th. We always have a party for him here at the beach and everyone is invited. So keep that date open. Roy's 94th birthday party here at Del Norwegans right here in area four on December 20th. Ooh, there's some nice sun popping out. You know what? I wanna get a little picture while that sun is out here them sitting out here on the beach so bear with me so we got a little streak of sun don't go anywhere not ma not many viewing right now just 40 right now 40 people yeah. it gets up sometimes it'll go up 600 yeah. it gets pretty you high tell me 4, it'll by well it'll go to how many people watch they watch on and off they don't watch the whole thing Sometimes, I mean, sometimes they'll go over a hundred thousand people. No, wait a minute, a hundred thousand? Yeah. You were telling me twenty thousand. That's how many are subscribed to it. But anybody can watch it. A hundred thousand. Yeah. I used to. There was a couple times when I first started doing sunsets. I had over a million watching the sunset. A million? Yeah, yeah. it was insane. It was crazy. How could you tell that? It tells me. It tells you how many people watch. A million people? Yeah, over a million either. watched my sunsets. Oh, that was amazing. You do a nice job with those. And it was, yeah. and all I did is I just put the camera on a tripod and let it, just let it record, That's record amazing. the sunset. That's amazing. And it's all to do, it has to do with Facebook. They have different ways how they send your, your information out. They call it throttling. Sometimes they let it go out to everybody. Sometimes they hold it back and don't let it go out to as many people. They try to get money out of you. <laughs> amazing. That's really yep. amazing. But yeah, you never know. Today we'll probably have maybe 8,000 will have watched this today. So 8,000 are watching what we're chatting about? Throughout the course of the video. They might not have watched this part. They might have watched, this is two hours long, the video. So 8,000 tap in yep. just in 24 hours in one day? Or you don't know. And the next, within the next couple hours. Can you believe that, Karen? The next we'll see. Yeah. Or just telling 
care and if there's that many people watching I have to be careful of my of my terminologies and not not use any uh, off-color words don't worry about it they're all ad <laughs> most of them are adults we do have some kids we do have some kids well, watch even so I have to use all my big big words for you you do yeah. use one of your big words right now well you know you have to uh, if you're using big ha words you have to beware of platitudinous ponderosity there you go <laughs> and you let your conversational communication possess a clarified conciseness a coalescent consistency and a concatenated cogency the cogency is the most important yeah and it well, has to be it's, concatenated. it's got to be concatenated or if it's, it's not no concatenated good, yeah. there's no point of having a cogency you're right <laughs> everybody knows i learned that in kindergarten you have to eschew all conglomeration of Jejean babblement and double on tot, etc., etc. Exactly. Shoo it. I think you have to be an attorney to figure out what it's all about. Hey, while I got you here, I got to remind you. You know what Monday is? Yeah. Memorial, Memorial Day. Day. Yeah. That's the big shindig up there at the VFW with the dancing. Really? Oh, yeah. The music and the dancing, that's where you can dance with all those those Pretty ladies girls. up oh, there. Oh boy. That sounds like so a that'll winner. be in the afternoon. Uh -huh. I guess I'll be de definitely going up there if you want me to give you a ride up there. Well, we'll see how things work out. Maybe I maybe um Scott and Linda might show up. Who knows? Maybe Tom yeah, and Karen good. might even yeah. show up. And you never know. Get a whole gang of us up there. Yeah, that'd be fun. Anything to see you out there dancing again. I haven't seen you dancing for a while. <laughs> I don't think it's really dancing. I <laughs> I stand there and shimmy in the, and I let the lady do all the pr prancing around. Oh, well, there you go. A true not, gentleman. I'm not too good on prancing anymore. <laughs> oh, well. But well, I can I can wobble the rest of me without we, too many we problems. We do have some videos of you dancing. Even dancing out here on the beach. I've got, I think, one of you dancing with somebody on the beach. Well, I, I kind of wobble automatically. <laughs> I don't have to make an effort to do it. It's yeah, kind of built that. in. <laughs> We've all wobbled now and then. built in wobble. <laughs> For various reasons. <laughs> all right, guys. You have a great morning. Yep. Have a wonderful wobble. <laughs> okay. God bless. Oh, while Roy was talking to everybody, while I while I handed him the phone, I met a friend of mine on the beach that I haven't seen in years. My friend Bill Hobbs, Billy Hobbs, is back in Naples. A lot of you guys in Naples, my friends know Billy. He's moved back to Naples. That's awesome. He just got reinstated to the PGA. So that's exciting news for Bill. There's a nice little scallop shell right there. Nice little piece of worm rock over here. Beautiful little piece of worm rock. I think Roy's over here getting some big hugs from people. They must have, what am I missing over here? Oh. Uh-oh. Playboy. <laughs> More Facebook friends? Yes. Oh, how awesome. That is awesome. Boy plays harmonica. Oh, sweet. So I go in the morning to see, or when you had the dolphins. Oh. That was a great one. Yeah, the dolphin. New York. New York. How long are you down for? I've moved here last oh, July. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Another so transplant. Wiggins, Wiggins is my favorite. Isn't it? That's, that's what brought me here, coming here for vacation. Yeah, Isn't that neat? In the whole world. I came by yesterday. You were yeah. lounged out. And I'm choosing this. That is so cool. Yeah. I love it. I love I meeting he's everybody. He's famous, too. He is. <laughs> he's always, he's always yeah, saying, I, I don't know why people watch yeah. me. It's like, because he, everybody it's loves him. great. You have yeah. great stories. Exactly. Yeah. He's, he's my destination. I can uh, singing songs and playing. I got to get a picture of everybody nice. together. Yeah. Come on. This is great. Mom, Hang on, folks. Over. I'm going to take a quick photo. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Kodak, a Kodak moment. Roy, Roy in his glory. Yeah, well, well, getting all these hugs. Right, go on, yeah. playboy. <laughs> oh, boy. I love that. I don't think they need me. So it's. What, what, what was your name? I'm sorry. Kelly. Kelly? 
and Teresa. Teresa, both from. I'm from upstate New York, and I'm from Chicago. Oh, okay. We both moved down. Kelly and Lisa. We both met here last year when we both moved down here. Awesome. Oh yeah. Awesome. Just up and. Yeah, I'm going back. In a oh, it's so cool meeting you guys. I was just on my way out, but have a great day. Thanks for coming out. Enjoy the hugs, Roy. <laughs> oh, Roy is in his glory. Definitely in his glory. So that's two sets of Facebook friends I met this morning. Two, four new faces. That is so cool. I love it. Well, it's getting time, getting to be time to sign off here. I want to thank everybody for watching. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Be sure to take some time. Check out all of my photos and videos here on Facebook. Be sure you're going to find something you like. When you do, be sure to hit the share button, the like button. Make sure you sign up for the notifications of when I go live. You'll get notified so it won't be a mystery. I have no set schedule for doing these beach walks. It's just hit and miss. Whenever my work schedule and personal schedule allows, I come out here. Beautiful colors right now. Look at that when the sun pops out. Thanks for joining. Remember, no way pays me for this. If you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account in the description of this post. Hey, have a wonderful day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.